Hello and welcome to a brand new vlog. I am just getting ready and packing up. I'm waiting for Luke to get here with some McDonald's for tea and then we are driving down up, up, <laughs> up to my mum's house and going to meet her new puppy. So they got Floki in December and then they got Freya at the end of April. So very excited to meet her. She looks teeny tiny compared to Floki so it'll be cute to see them together. I've been getting lots of picture and video updates. So that's nice. Um, obviously I'm then going to Amsterdam so I'm packing a few different suitcases, a few different outfits and then I've also got my cousin's engagement party tomorrow. So yeah, it's going to be busy the next couple of weeks and I'm just waiting for that McDonald's. Hello Hi Freya. Puppy cuddles successful and we are heading into the hot tub. I'm in my grandma's room because it's the nicest lighting at this sort of time. I am now ready a little bit later, um, so people are already here, but we are going to my cousin's engagement party. We've got a minibus coming in about 10 minutes, so we'll see how the night goes. this morning it's just after seven o'clock and we've only had about five hours sleep so I'm absolutely shattered and um, but I'm heading to the airport to drop Luke off at Leeds Bradford Airport today. I've dropped Luke off at the airport and I was beginning to panic a little because suddenly my fuel gauge dropped massively and then I've been keeping an eye out for all the different fuel stations and all of a sudden I don't think any so I've stopped off at a shell which is actually the cheapest one I've seen so far it's 16190 which is still really overpriced, but better than nothing. So I'm now heading to get up with some breakfast. I've picked up the five Greg's bacon sandwiches, as you can probably see in the back, and I just thought I'd quickly share that we now have cows and sheep in the field, which is so strange to see. We've not had animals here for a while, so it's really nice. This little buddy is sitting next to me because I've got a bacon sandwich. <laughs>
Someone enjoyed their bacon sandwiches and um, after I got back and settled down I had a bit of a two hour nap because I was absolutely exhausted. Um, we've just had some visitors so I did change out of my like gym gear. Um, so we've had my great aunt and then my three, I call them cousins but they're technically like first cousins once removed. So they've been able to see the puppies and the house and the updates and we've just come out because it ends up being a beautiful day. I'm in a dress because it's that nice. Um, what's the temperature? It's supposed to be 18 degrees, but it feels like a lot warmer to be fair. Um, so we've come to where I got Greg's from this morning to get some meat for the barbecue. And I've just realised that over here is now like a one-way system, which I went down this morning. I've had a lovely afternoon with lots of visitors and a lovely barbecue. The first of the year, um, it's actually a little bit cooler now. I feel like it's like 10 degrees. So I've got my towel robe on with my bikini and we are jumping in the hot tub um, for a nice gentle evening tonight. Um, oh. Fall off. I don't know how that happened. Anyway. Um, yeah, just waiting for someone to open this because I'm not strong enough to do it by myself. But Luke's arrived safely in Amsterdam and then Rotterdam. His flight was delayed by like 40 minutes because um, a luggage belt broke. But other than that, I think he's having a good time so far. Today is another beautiful day. It's apparently 17 degrees. We are just about to head to Pontefract, which funnily enough is where I was born and where most of my mum's family still is. So we're going to go and see one of my great aunts, give her a present for looking after grandma while we're in Portugal. Then we're going to see my other great aunt who came over yesterday to return a jacket that she left. She literally lives around the corner, so it's not too much out of the way. We're going to go and look at holidays to the Maldives, because that's where mum wants to go for her 60th, so hopefully next year. And then we're going to go and take the puppies for a walk around the Pontefract racecourses. Um, I think we'll probably just do around the lake, because they're not quite old enough to go for a long walk yet. But it should be good. I think getting these dogs in the car are more work than having children. about five hours and I'm absolutely knackered. Um, I was also very starving so mum picked up some crisps on the way back and she's just doing tea now um, and we're chilling in the kitchen watching neighbours. Mm -hmm. 